Hello, karibu endelee kujifunza na hapa tuendelea na somo la 24, lesson 24. Na katika lesson 24 tutakuwa na jumla ya mifano kumi Na somo hili linahusu matumizi ya hili neno. Linahusu matumizi ya hili neno let ikiwa imeunganisha na na me, ikiwa imeunganisha na her, ikiwa imeunganisha na him na mengine utakayoyaona huku chini. Lakini kwa kuanzia tuangalie sentensi ya kwanza ina maana gani? Sentensi ya kwanza inasema let me go. Let me go inamaanisha hebu niende au acha niende au ngoja niende au niruhusu niende. Maana hizo zote ambazo tunazitumia kwa Kiswahili kwa Kiingereza ni sentensi moja ambayo ni let me go. Lakini hili neno let ni sawa sawa na ruhusu. Kwa hiyo let me go inaweza kuwa pia ni ruhusu niende let me go lakini namna nyingine ndiye ambayo tunasema hebu niende lakini pia hata ukiondoa hayo maneno hebu ni ruhusu ngoja let me go inaweza kumaanisha niende let me go niende kwa ile ambayo tunasema kwa kiswahili kwa kukatisha hivyo niende nije niseme tuongee twende utakuwa natanguliza neno let kisha unafuatisha kiwakilishi kinachohusika. Kwa let me go tujikumbushe tena let me go hebu niende ngoja niende acha niende niruhusu niende niende let me go. Kwa hiyo hapa utabadilisha kama unataka muache aende hago au let him go kama ni wa kiume lakini pia waache waende let them go hapa kadhalika sentence ya pili ni hapa don't panic don't panic just calm down let me tell you everything don't panic just calm down let me tell you everything don't panic inamaanisha usiwe na wasiwasi don't panic Don't panic usiwe na wasiwasi Just calm down Ukiondoa neno just haya maneno mawili calm down inamaanisha tulia tulia Just calm down kwa just calm down inakuwa tulia tu just calm down tulia tu Let me tell you Let me tell you inamaanisha hebu nikwambie au acha nikwambie au ni ruhusu nikwambie everything kila kitu let me tell you everything acha nikwambie kila kitu au hebu nikwambie kila kitu au ngoja nikwambie kila kitu ni ruhusu nikwambie kila kitu kwa pamoja inakuwa don't panic just calm down let me tell you everything usiwe na wasiwasi tulia tu hebu nikwambie kila kitu au ngoja nikwambie kila kitu au ni ruhusu nikwambie kila kitu Twende katika mfano wa tatu, example 3. Let her sleep early. Let her sleep early. Mwache alale mapema au mruhusu alale mapema. Let her sleep early. Ambapo ha utakumbuka ni ya kike. Ni ni wa kike huyu. Let her sleep early. Ambapo unaweza kaitoa sasa kwa kama jina ya kike. Kwa mfano, let Debra sleep early. Let Amina sleep early. Let Jane sleep early ambapo hapo utakuwa unasema muache afu unataja jina lake kwa mfano muache Amina alale mapema muache Jane alale mapema na kadhalika Hata ukisema kwa mfano eh, let my sister sleep early maana yake muache dadangu alale mapema au hebu dadangu alale mapema ngoja dadangu alale mapema au mruhusu dadangu alale mapema na kadhalika Twende katika mfano mwingine ambao ni example 4 lakini zaidi maelezo haya si kikoma unaweza ukatengeneza maelezo mengi katika hiyo sentence baada ya haya maneno let let her let him let me kulingana na uhitaji katika sentence husika au katika mazingira husika kwa hiyo unaweza kuongeza tu maelezo mengi kadri iwezekanavyo ili mradi tu yasiwe yanaenda nje ya maana ambayo inatakiwa kwa Kiingereza kutoka kwenye lile wazo la Kiswahili ulilonalo number 4 Don't let him know anything about this deal. 
Don't let him know anything about this deal. He pekiake don't let him. Don't let him manake ni sana kusema usimuache au usimruhusu no anything. Don't let him know anything. Manake usimuache ajue chochote. Usimruhusu ajue chochote. Au hebu asijue chochote. Don't let him know anything about kuhusu this deal. Kwa kiswahili hili neno deal na tafsiriwa kama deal vile vile deal au deal wengine wanasema lakini deal inamaanisha kitu chochote ambacho kinahusisha makubaliano ya watu wawili kwa ajili ya kuwapa faida wote kwa hiyo don't let him know anything about this deal usimwache ajue chochote kuhusu hili deal au kuhusu haya makubaliano ambayo yanaza faida pande zote mbili don't let him know anything about this deal usimwache ajue kitu chochote kuhusu hili deal au usimruhusu ajue chochote kuhusu hili deal number 5 Twende mfano namba 5 number 5 number 5 don't let them down don't let them down hasa kwa pamoja to let down au to let somebody down inamaanisha kumwangusha mtu lakini hiyo namna ya kumwangusha ni ile ya kumkwamisha ile ya kumfanya asifike katika yale matarajio aliyoyataka au kama mtu amekupa jukumu afu usilifanye vile inavyotakiwa maana yake umemwangusha sasa hapo na kome let down. Kwa mfano nataka kwa sauti askia tunasema usini let down au usimlet down. Ambapo usini let down inamaanisha usiniangushe. Yaani usifanye tofauti na vile ninavyotarajia ufanye. Don't let them down manake usiwaangushe. Don't let them down. Ambapo hapo kwenye them utaweka vitu tofauti tofauti kwa mfano don't let her down usimwangushe. Don't let me down usiniangushe. Don't let teachers down usiwaangushe walimu na kadhalika. twende mfano mwingine ambao ni nambari sita. mfano namba sita. mfano namba sita ni huu hapa i want to let you do anything you can do to get out of this situation I want to let you do anything you can do to get out of this situation. Twende taratibu na hii sentence. I want to let you do. Inamaanisha ninataka kukuruhusu ufanye au ninataka kukuacha ufanye. I want to let you do. Nataka kukuruhusu ufanye au nataka kukuacha ufanye. Anything you can do. Inamaanisha chochote unachoweza kufanya. Anything you can do. Kwa hiyo kwa pamoja I want to let you do anything you can do inamaanisha ninataka kukuacha ufanye chochote unachoweza kufanya au nataka kukuruhusu ufanye chochote unachoweza kufanya. To get out inamaanisha kutoka au kwenda nje ya. To get out kutoka au kwenda nje ya. This situation inamaanisha hali hii. Situation ni hali. This situation inamaanisha hali hii. Kwa hiyo to get out of this situation manake kutoka kwenda nje ya hali hii to get out of this situation kwenda nje ya hali hii ambapo kwa namna rahisi na kwa kutoka kwenye hali hii to get out of this situation kutoka kwenye hali hii kwa hiyo kwa pamoja inakuwa I want to let you do anything you can do to get out of this situation nataka kukuruhusu ufanye chochote unachoweza kufanya kutoka katika hali hii au kuondoka katika hali hii I want to let you do anything you can do to get out of this situation Lakini kama angeongezeka maneno kwa mfano as soon as possible as soon as possible inamaanisha upesi uwezekanavyo au haraka iwezekanavyo I want to let you do anything you can do to get out of this situation as soon as possible au as early as possible Mapema iwezekanavyo au upesi uwezekanavyo Mfano namba saba ni let it happen let it happen inamaanisha acha litokee au acha kitokee let it happen au hebu kitokee ngoja kitokee ngoja litokee na kadhalika let it happen kwa hapo unaweza kubadilisha vitendo mbalimbali mbali kulingana na ule uhitaji wako binafsi let it happen acha litokee acha kitokee
angoja kitokea au hebu kitokee sentensi nyingine ni sentensi namba nane, tisa, na kumi ambapo hizi nazo zinahitaji umakini kwa utabidi usikilize kwa makini sana number eight, let's talk let's talk inamaanisha tuongee au hebu tuongee acha tuongee ngoja tuongee let's talk let's talk hebu tuongee lakini hii haya maneno let's ni muungano wa let us let us inakuwa let's kwa kifupi lakini katika maana zinatofautiana kwa hiyo let's talk inakuwa hebu tuongee au nguje tuongee lakini let us inakuwa turuhusu tuongee kwa let's talk inakuwa kama ni pendekezo la wale watu wote ulionao hebu tuongee au tuongeeni hebu tuongee au tuongeeni lakini let us talk inakuwa ni kama kumuomba ruhusa mtu mwingine awaache wewe na wenzako muongee let us talk let us talk turuhusu tuongee let's talk hebu tuongee au tuongeeni kwa hiyo hii hapa ya pili inakuwa let us sit here let us sit here turuhusu tukae hapa let us sit here lakini ungesema let's sit here una, una, ni sana kusema hebu tukae hapa maana kuna waambia wenzako ulionao hebu tukae hapa au tukaeni hapa let's sit here let us sit here turuhusu tukae hapa mfano wa kumi ambao ni wa mwisho sasa katika somo hili ni hapa example 10 Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go peke yake inamaanisha twende au hebu twende au twendeni. Let's go. Lakini ukisema let's go in inamaanisha hebu twendeni ndani au tuingieni ndani. Hebu tuingie ndani. Let's go in. Lakini ukitaka kuomba ruhusa ya kuingia ndani, mnamuomba mtu fulani awaruhusu mwingie ndani utasema let us in. Let us in. Let us in lakini hautasema auto, let's in. Utasema tu let's go in. Hebu tuingieni ndani au hebu tuendeni ndani. Let's go in. Lakini kama mnaomba ruhusa kwa mtu au awaruhusu mwingie ndani utawaambia let us in. Let us in. Na baada ya kuona hii mifano yote kama utakuwa na swali lolote utaandika kwenye sehemu ya kutolea maoni ili upate ufafanuzi zaidi. Na kama hapo utakuwa nadhani kuna mfano mwingine wa ziada ungeweza kuwepo hapa unaweza kuandika katika sehemu ya kutolea maoni ili kumsaidia mtu mwingine ajifunze zaidi. Baada ya kuona maelezo yote nitarudia tena sentensi moja baada ya nyingine kwa kusoma kwa Kiingereza tu ili kukukumbusha na na pia kukufanya uone wapi unaweza kuwa bado unakumbuka na wapi umesahau kulingana na kile ambacho umejifunza katika somo hili. Number 1 Let me go. Number 2 Don't panic just calm down. Let me tell you everything. 3. Let her sleep early. 4. Don't let him know anything about this deal. 5. Don't let them down. 6. I want to let you do anything you can to get out of this situation. 7. Let it happen. 8. Let's talk. 9. Let us sit here. 10. Let's go in. Let us in.